People often ask, how do I get your watercolor brushes to run together and drip? Unfortunately, you can't. This is as close as you'll get. Once you lift your stylus in Photoshop, the paint is effectively dry. So no matter how much paint you add, it will never run. However, there are other apps like Rebel that have fluid dynamics. This means that your paint in Rebel stays wet and you can mix it on the canvas. If you add enough of it, it will even drip and run. It's true what they say on their website. Rebel has a really easy to use interface and a very tiny learning curve. Even though I just installed it about half an hour ago, I thought I'd show you how watercolor works in Rebel because it's quite amazing and incredibly fun to use. You'll notice that even after I left my stylus, the paint continues to be absorbed into the paper and the two colors blend together. In Rebel, the paper stays wet. You can see, as I draw through it with an ink pen, where the paper is wet from the watercolor, the ink bleeds into the paper, just as it would in real life. The water and the sponge tool allow you to add or remove wetness from the paper. By turning on this little switch on the right, you can see how wet the paper is. The darkness of the blue indicates how wet the paper is. White indicates dry. Now I'll turn off the wetness indicator so you can see what happens as I draw through it with my ink pen. In the white area where I removed the water with the sponge, there is no bleeding. But in the blue areas, especially the area where I add water, the ink bleeds. This new version of Rebel adds support for tablets, including multi-touch support and accelerometer support for the tilt features. You can use the tilt feature on the desktop too. I'm going to increase the wetness and the load in the paintbrush to get a really runny paintbrush so you can see the effect of the tilt feature. You can turn on the feature by clicking in the little circle and then you set the direction and the strength of the tilt by dragging out the blue line. If you're on a tablet, you can use the tablet's internal accelerometer. Tilt your tablet down and your paint runs down the canvas. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at Rebel's watercolor. It has all the other traditional tools as well, of course. And version 2 now also includes custom brush engine, which allows you to load your own brush shapes and textures. You can also save and export your brushes. You can bet I'll be looking into making some brushes for Rebel.